There you see it. Ryan Olsen tosses the glove in the air. And the celebration begins as the Auburn High School Tigers claim the fifth state championship in program history. And, Kenan, we were just talking about it. Probably the best game that we've had here at Riverwalk so far this week. Yeah, solid game. I mean, that was that was intense. Neither team wanted to go away, and uh, you know, Hoover Hoover gave them a, a run there at the end, and uh, exciting finish. You know, a lot, a lot of a lot of big moments for these guys on both sides. Yeah, load up the bases there in the end, and we're gonna take a look back at the game. As you see here in the first inning, a hit by pitch led to this double that knocked in the runner from first, and Hoover struck first. And after winning game one, felt like they had all the momentum at this point in the game. Yeah, they had it rolling at this point. But then Auburn comes into the bottom of the first and starts really hitting the ball well. As you see right here, McGlawn, who ended up being named the MVP. That ball took a tough hop on R.J. Hamilton, got into the outfield, and Auburn able to strike for three in the first inning and take a three to one lead. And then Hoover, a line drive double play, gets him out of it. As you see right here, Auburn could have added more there in the top of the first inning. Unable to do so. We head to the top of the second inning, and Hoover gets one back. As you see, Sean Anselo hitting one off the fence. And then double play here for Auburn gets him out of the inning after some controversy with a runner running through the line. And that took a run off the board. So three to two. And then the Auburn Tigers scored one run for the rest of the game in every one of their at-bats. They scored in five out of the sixth inning. And they had to feel pretty good about what they were able to do at the plate throughout this whole ball game. Yeah, they just kept pressure on Hoover's defense all day and uh, you know, didn't let up. As you see all the success that Auburn was having, big strike out there as Walter Ford, the sophomore Alabama commit, came in for the second time today. And was really good early, but you could tell, kind of got tired as the game went on. Yeah, just ran out of gas. And another one of those double plays, Auburn able to turn three of them in game three here. And then another double down the line. As I mentioned, Auburn scored one run apiece in the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth innings. It's right here in the sixth, Hoover. Sean Anselo knocking in two runs allowing the Hoover Bucks to cut the lead. But then Patrick McGlone, as I mentioned, the MVP, gives Auburn the 7-4 lead. And that run turned out to be huge here in this ballgame. Yeah, huge. They uh, left it 7-6 and it could have been different. Lucas Steele starts the top of the seventh off with a triple. We talked about it. Cosby probably should have played that better, kept it in front. Instead, allows Steele to get around the third. Hoover builds some momentum. Single up the middle. That cut the lead to 7-5. In the top of the seventh with only one out. And then a big strikeout from Tanner Phillips right there. But not going to end it as Hoover was able to scratch across one more run. And then they loaded it up. And Ryan Olsen comes in and shuts the doors. The Auburn Tigers walk away as the 7A state champs.